Hey guys, what's up? It's Christine. I'm a local muralist in the Branson, Missouri area. Uh, let's jump right into this mural. So here I am in front of the wall that I'm going to paint a mural on. I pressure sprayed this wall uh, a few days before I did this uh, just to get all the dirt and the moss and all the grime that's just been on this wall for years. Um, I let it dry for a few days and now here I am using this gray primer to cover the entire wall. Next I'm going back over the wall with this tinted navy blue wall sealant. Um, I guess you, you, this is like an, an exterior latex paint that you would use specifically for something like this. Once that was dry, I went back later that evening and used my projector to uh, draw out the logo and a few of the animals. The next day I got started from the center working my way out. I wanted to make sure that the logo was centered on that wall. As you know, I love color. I love rainbows and gradients. Uh, so when I sent a mock-up to the vet, she uh, said, yeah, I love rainbows. Like if we're gonna do a big ass mural, we might as well make it crazy. And I said, my thoughts exactly. You can see this mural from uh, Business 65 as you drive by. So uh, I love that. It's one of my first murals that's actually in a more public place. This was a bit challenging because I had to get up and down constantly and walk back to my car to mix up more paint. Um, I didn't leave a lot of my stuff on the sidewalk just because every couple hours I had to pack up my stuff and walk down to the public restroom in downtown because the vet was closed and only letting in their, uh, their clients one at a time because of this virus. The next day my brother and his girlfriend Lindsay stopped by and so I put them to work for a little bit. Just going back over with a second or third coat of paint with the more neon translucent or neon colors tend to be more translucent so you have to do several layers. Could I have painted the animals white and then gone over with the neon? Yes, but you know, I'm lazy. This is the first time I used my fisheye lens doing video. I got this lens for Christmas and I love it. It is cheap, but it's cheap. So uh, there's no autofocus and no auto exposure. But I think it's kind of cool because you can just get an idea of like the scale of everything, which I love. This vet contacted me uh, last winter and um, asked about doing this mural. And this was the perfect job to do at this moment while everyone is in isolation during the coronavirus. A lot of the animals that I had chalked on the wall the day before got washed away during a storm, so I had to go back and freehand those again. And once I was done, I used my spray bottle with water and sprayed away the chalk lines. Oh, and the Starbucks was closed, so I've been having to drink Dunkin', which is not as good, but you know, I'll take what I can get. This is the last day of me finishing up. It was getting dark, but I wanted to go back and check and make sure I picked up everything. I got everything and put it in my car. 
Here's my signature and my website. And here's the final shot. This was so fun. I love doing these kind of murals. Um, I really hope I can do more murals in my hometown like this in more high traffic areas. Uh, my town really needs more of this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, follow me on Instagram. Check out my website. Let me know if you want me to do a mural in your business or in your home. I would love to do one for you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.